Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to make the simplest flyback driver, I think. Uh, well, I think it's the simplest one you can make. You're going to need a flyback. You can get these out of TVs and computer monitors. I think this came out of a 20 inch TV. You're going to need a transistor. I am using a D1556, but any NPN power transistor will work. Well, just about. And you're going to need two resistors. Um, they don't have to be that specific, but I'm using a 560 ohm and a 390 ohm. And you're going to need a lot of wires. So, before we start making it, I'm going to show you the uh, schematic. Okay, so this is the schematic. This is the flyback. And these are the two coils, your three coils you're going to need to find. You're going to need to find uh, the primary, the secondary, and the feedback. When you get your hands on one of these, you'll see that there's a horseshoe shaped arrangement of pins and of course your high voltage positive. Now the way you can find these pins is with a voltmeter that tests resistance. If I get mine, don't ever anyone get an analog meter. meter. They're kind of hard to use. Now if we Turn this upside down. We just start with some pins. I'm going to start with the farthest two. And you see we got a connection. Now I'm going to try the next two to see if we can get feedback. And look at that. That's great. Now last thing I'm going to make sure is that the feedback and the primary are not connected. And they are not. Now, there are a couple ways to find your high voltage negative. What you can do is you can take like three 9 volt batteries and put them in series. And then uh, connect the negative to here. And then your voltmeter to this side. And then connect your, the other end of your voltmeter to the plus of the batteries. You need to do that because there's a high voltage diode in here and uh, it only lets voltages there over 30 volts through it. Or when you just have this thing up and running you can take the high voltage positive and arc it to the pins to the bottom and see which one has the best output. Okay so let's get to soldering. Okay well the first thing we're going to solder are the connections to the transistor. I've already tinned the wires. Okay, now we're going to take our resistors, we're going to twist the leads together. Put this down first. Okay, now we're going to solder them. Okay. Now we're going to solder this 
the other end of the 390 ohm resistor to the collector, I mean to the emitter. Okay, now we're going to take our flyback. And we're going to attach the collector lead. to our primary lead. Okay. Now we're going to take our base and connect it to the feedback. Okay, now I'm going to get my power supply out for the rest. Now what I'm doing is in bad practice, but this is a cheap little flyback driver, so I'm just going to do it. I'm going to take the power leads and solder them directly to the emitter and the resistor and the primary. Oh, I messed up. Excuse me. Okay, now we're going to take the other end of the primary connected to plus. Okay. Now there's just one more connection to make, the connection between the resistors and the other end of the feedback winding. Now let me just find a spare wire. Okay. Give me a second, I have to tin it. Now I'm going to connect it to the other end of the feedback coil and the resistors. I'm having a little hard time here. I'm just right now solder.
Okay, that's pretty much it. Now we're going to... I'm going to... Exp well, now I'm going to explain to you how the circuit works and I'm going to show you this running. Okay, here's the circuit on the floor. And here's the diagram and let me show you how it works. One voltage is applied to the circuit. It flows through the resistors and it makes a voltage appear in the middle of the resistors that's less of the supply. Um, the, the voltage in the middle goes through the feedback coil and goes into the base of the transistor and that turns on the transistor and allows voltage to flow through the transistor and into the primary of the flyback. And when that happens it induces a magnetic field in the flyback which induces a current Electric, which induces electricity in the feedback winding, which cancels out the electricity from the resistors and turns this transistor off. And when it turns off, the primary coil turns off, and there is longer, and there is no longer voltage uh, induced into the feedback coil. So the voltage from the resistors turn the transistor on again, and it repeats. And as this happens. Uh, electromagnetic fields are going th through the core and that induces electricity into the secondary. So let me show you this working. It's going to be running off of 15 volts. I'm not sure if you can see that. Let me get up close. Okay, that is pretty much it. Um, it produces pretty good arcs for something I made in 10 minutes, and thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you'll be able to recreate this, but uh, I'm pretty sure you won't be able to because I, I don't think this was a very good video, but thanks for watching.